I don't, I don't know if you ever heard a, a story about biodynamics, but it involves, it's based on a series of lectures that was given by um, Rudolf Steiner, whom you may know as the founder of the Waldorf schools in the 1920s, or may not. <laughs> it's kind of arcane. But um, he um, gave a series of lectures about folkloric um, agricultural practices, and, and, and it became codified into this discipline, uh, biodynamics, in which um, there's a, first a belief in the, in the necessary interdependence of the forces of life and cosmos and earth. Um, also the idea that, so, so what happens is they consult the phase of the moon, uh, positions of the planets for various activities, both in the vineyard and the cellar. And um, also the uh, belief that the farm is a self-contained living entity. So nothing can come in that didn't grow there. You can't add things, uh, sugar, for example, that came from uh, the islands or some other kinds of things. And it also involves um, preparations, a homeopathy. And there's one that um, uh, I, I, re I remember uh, experiencing here. I watched my friend in Alsace make the preparation, do the stirring where the cosmic energy comes in, as the vortex created uh, and so on. Um, seriously. But what here, here, here I was invited to visit the place where they actually bury the cow horns that are packed with manure. They're buried for six lunar cycles where the manure ferments in the cow horns. They're exhumed, and that's what's used in the barrel of water that is stirred in two directions, at which change of direction the vortex gathers the cosmic energy. And you know, when we can, we can, we can, you know, laugh about how can it work or what does it mean, um, except that the uh, accurate practice of biodynamics is so detailed, so labor intensive, so difficult to, um, to do that it attracts obsessive perfectionists who would otherwise be doing very careful detailed work in any case. And it involves good work as well as the hokey preparations, if I may, and I don't mean to be irreverent because I, it's not my place. I can't explain why the wines are typically uh, very interesting, except that the people doing it are really passionate, detail-oriented, careful uh, 